Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to give you a brief overview of accounting standards and the regulators behind those standards. So first up, financial reporting standards or accounting standards, the way you can think of them. Um, there's two main ones that you're probably going to hear about. And one of those is what we call generally accepted accounting principles. Um, generally accepted accounting principles are rules and practices recognized by the accounting profession of a given country. In the United States, we refer to our generally accepted accounting principles as U.S. GAAP or United States GAAP. You may often also hear people refer to the phrase local GAAP, and that just means that whatever country they are referring to, be it Italy, Japan, etc., they are just referring to the local uh, generally accepted accounting principles, just like if we were in the U.S., we'd be referring to the U.S. Uh, generally accepted accounting principles. Another one that you're likely to hear about is going to be what's known as IFRS, or International Financial Reporting Standards. This is a common set of rules and practices that have been jointly recognized by the accounting profession of multiple countries. And so this map that you see over here on the right this is as of May 2020, but all of the countries in blue are actually the countries that are following IFRS. So they are all aligned on the same set of accounting um, uh, practices. Whereas you notice the United States is not blue because the United States practices its own U.S. GAAP. And you see others in here who also continue to practice their own. Okay, so those are your two sets of standards. Now, standard setting bodies, the ones that you should be familiar with in, in you know, an introductory accounting course. Um, in the United States specifically, you should be familiar with the Securities and Exchange Commission, or the SEC, and the Financial Accounting Standards Board, or the FASB. Now, the Securities and Exchange Commission, they regulate capital markets in the United States. They also have the legal authority to set accounting standards. However, they also have the authority to delegate the setting of those standards to another body. And that's where the FASB comes in, the Financial Accounting Standards Boards. The SEC has delegated financial accounting standard setting to this standards board. So the standards board sets accounting rules However, they only set accounting rules because delegated authority by the SEC. Now, you may be asking, well, if the SEC delegated that authority to another body, then what does the SEC do? Well, the SEC has taken more of an enforcement role. So focuses on enforcement. In other words, when companies break the rules, the SEC is kind of the policeman that steps in and, and deals with that fact that they've broken the rules. So they've, they've taken the, the standard setting kind of off their plate. They focus more on enforcement now. Um, internationally, uh, remember, there are other countries that have their own local gap, but the vast majority of, of international countries follow um, IFRS, um, International Financial Reporting Standards. And for IFRS, the, 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 the board that you should be familiar with is known as the International Accounting Standards Board, or the IASB. Notice the name was just derived similarly to how the FASB was derived. And so the IASB, they are responsible responsible for IFRS. All righty. So Financial Accounting Standards Board, they deal with U.S. GAAP here in the U.S. IASB, they deal with IFRS for all of the countries that follow IFRS. The SEC is the uh, legal um, authority over accounting in the U.S., but they focus more on enforcement these days. And that's it. That's about all you need to know. So hopefully you found this helpful. Hope you join me for the next video.